We'll hear from Joseph Costello. Mr. Costello, are you with us? Mr. Costello waves in opposition to the bill. Uh, next is Eric Johnson, I believe. Mr. Johnson waves in opposition to the bill. Next up is Sheriff Larry Ashley. Sheriff Ashley, you're recognized. As an opponent of the bill. Chairman, committee, thank you again for the opportunity to speak. Uh, Florida sheriffs unequivocally support this uh, to right to stand your ground. And hearing the discussion earlier and being a former task force member regarding the Castle Doctrine, what we heard from citizens were the presumption. We don't want to have to take the time to presume what the perpetrator's intent is when they tend is when they break into our home. Are you going to steal my TV, my radio, or other belongings? Or are you going to rape, rob, and murder me? We don't have the time to figure out, do we have the right to defend ourselves? It's a presumption that we have a right to defend ourselves. And merely that all the stand your ground did was that you have the right to defend yourself, not only in your home, but in your neighborhood, at the mall, anywhere you have a lawful right to be. And uh, Florida sheriffs stand behind this law and oppose the repeal of it. Thank you, Sheriff Ashley. One, one more statement. Uh, in, in the previously, uh, there was discussion about why uh, law enforcement may not be able to investigate cases. And I think the law is pretty clear. A law enforcement agency may use standard procedures for investigating the use of force as described in subsection 1 of 776-032. And I've heard discussions where law enforcement understand your ground can't investigate these cases. And I'm, I'm here to tell you from experience and practicality that we do, and we do it on a regular basis. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. We will next hear from Dale Landry as a proponent of Representative Williams' bill. <laughs> 